Hey there, this is Laquita with QuitaBugHandmaids.com and thank you so much for joining me today for another Stampin' Up! tutorial. So for today's project, I am going to be using the Oh So Eclectic Bundle. So you can purchase this bundle in my online Stampin' Up! store and when you buy the stamp set and the framelits together, you actually save 10%. So it's a really great value and I absolutely love this stamp set. So here is a quick look at today's project. I absolutely love this box. It is just the cutest thing. So the reason I um, decided to design this box is actually because, let me show you what's inside. So um, I have kind of like a little hand regimen um, for before I film my videos and I always like to use this, what is on my finger? Um, I always like to use this um, Shea Butter Lotion. This is uh, Shea Butter Hand Cream by Bath & Body Works. I keep one of these just about everywhere. I have one in my purse, I have one in um, on my desk, I have one um, in the bedroom, on the nightstand. I keep these everywhere. This is my favorite um, hand cream and it has to be the one with Shea Butter. I, it just gives the best moisture. So before I film my videos, I always put on cuticle, um, cuticle oil, then I wash my hands with soap and water, and then I put on um, this cream. So the other day, I let me find it, ran out of my other one, Coco Loco, I finally ran out of this one, so it was time to open up a new one. So when I went to take this one out, I thought, hmm, I wonder if I could make a box that fits um, this hand cream, because I love these and I give them as gifts all the time. Um, so I came up with this box and I absolutely love how this box turned out. It's a decent size and even if you don't have this exact hand cream, I'll give you the um, finished measurements, but you could also fit um, another type of hand cream or some little candies and treats inside of there. I mean, it's got a good amount of space inside, so it's just so cute. So I thought I would share this with you guys, and it fits this cream absolutely perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started, and we'll make this cute little box. All right, so I've got a piece of regular Whisper White cardstock here, and this is cut at five inches by six and a half inches. And I will have all of these measurements over on today's coordinating blog post, and I've linked to that post just below the video in the description notes. Okay, so I'm going to use my Stampin' Trimmer to do all of my scoring today. So I'm gonna put the long side of my cardstock at the top of my trimmer, and I'm gonna score the left side at one inch. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and score the right side. I'll use this side. Score the right side at one inch and then I'll rotate it around and then score this opposite side also at one inch. Now I'm gonna put the short side of my cardstock at the top, so that's the five inch side, and I'm going to score at one and one sixteenth of an inch. Just line that up, there we go. Then I'm going to go down and score this at two and a quarter inches. Then three and three eighths of an inch. And then lastly at four and a half inches. So once you've finished, this is what you should have. So hopefully you can see those score lines on here. All right, so now I'm just going to bring in my bone folder and give all of these um, score lines a gentle crease. Okay, and once you've done that, you can bring in your paper snips and just start snipping up all of these score marks up to that one inch score line. So I'm just going to snip up and then we won't need this little flap on either side so you can cut off this little rectangular flap here just like that we won't need that flap what is all over my hands I've got ink somehow everywhere huh all right, so once you have done all of that cutting, this is what you should have, your four flaps at the top and the bottom, and then just this little rectangular piece here on the side because we removed those two little flaps. 
So I've gone ahead and cut four pieces of designer series paper here. And these are from the um, Pick a Pattern designer series paper. And I've cut each of these at seven eighths of an inch by four and a quarter inches. And I chose this designer series paper because it matched so well. I felt like this looked so much like Emerald Envy on the little tube of hand cream. And look how well they go together. So that's why I chose this particular pattern. So I'm just gonna use my Fast Fuse to adhere these little strips onto all four of my panels here. All right, so I've got my Fast Fuse on the back of all of these and I'll just start centering them up and adding them on. Now I'm just going to take some tear and tape and just add that right onto this little flap here. You don't have to use tear and tape, you could just use fast fuse, but I wanted to do tear and tape. Okay, that looks good. So now I'll just take the backing off of my tear and tape, and then all you've got to do is fold that over and fold this over, and those two sides will meet perfectly. And just give it a good press. So the great thing about this box, not intentional, but it folds flat. So you could make some of these and just store them nice and flat until you need them, and then you can pop them up and finish assembling them. So that's pretty cool. All right, so I've got the seam of the box right here. So this is gonna be the back of my box. I'm gonna let this be the top. So then down here, I need to seal this up. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's see, the seam is back here. All right, so I'm gonna fold this in, this in, fold this up, and I'll fold this back. So that goes towards the back where the seam is. So let me just add a little bit of adhesive to this and fold that back. There we go, and there's the bottom of the box. So then I'm just gonna bring in my cream, slip that in, and then I'll take out one of our gold library clips to seal this up. So I'm gonna fold these flaps over, and then I'll lift this flap up, just like that. Put these two together and then I'll seal this up with my clip. Okay, there we go. All right, so now let's do a little bit of stamping here. So I've just got a piece of Whisper White cardstock. I'm gonna bring in my Flirty Flamingo ink pad and I'm gonna stamp the first part of my flower. Just stamp that right about there. And now the second layer. I just line these two images up. Right about there should be good. Okay. And now I'm gonna bring in my Emerald Envy for the sentiment. And I'm gonna stamp that I like you sentiment right down here at the bottom. Okay. So now I'm gonna use those framelits, the Eclectic Layer Thinlets, and I'll go ahead and cut this out using my Big Shot. All right, so I got that all cut out using my Big Shot, and when I cut it out, there's actually a couple of little pieces where it's kind of white on the edges. So I'm just gonna take my uh, Stampin' Right marker in Flirty Flamingo, and I'm just gonna color in those edges. I don't want any white edges on my flower. So now for the sentiment, I'm bringing in the classic label punch here, and I'm gonna um, punch this out towards the right, so right about there. Now I'm gonna take a long strip of cardstock, some more Whisper White. I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive, just a tiny bit to the back of this uh, sentiment, and then I'm just going to adhere it onto this little strip. 
and that's going to allow me to put my sentiment back in and punch it again. So let me just line this up and I'm gonna punch it right about there. Okay, so now I was able to shorten that punch up. Isn't that a cool little trick? So I've got a shorter um, strip than what the punch is really designed for, but that's a cool trick to get more use out of your punch. All right, so I've just added a little bit of fast fuse onto the back of my sentiment, and I'm just going to add it on to my flower. I guess right about here looks pretty good. Yep, that looks good. So I used the leaf punch to punch out um, a leaf using some of our gold foil. And what I love about this leaf is it actually matches the gold leaf on the hand cream. Isn't that so cool? All right, so I'm just gonna take a dimensional and add my little leaf on right about here behind my flower. So right about there. I'll just add that on with a dimensional. And then we'll put another dimensional right about here. So now I can just add this layer onto my little box. I'll put it right about here. Okay, I think that looks good, so cute. All right, so now I've got just a little strand of our gold mini sequin trim and I've just folded this over and I'm going to see if I can sneak a mini dimensional onto this trim. Okay, right about there. And then just slip it right under the flower, right there. Perfect, got it. And so now what I can do is just trim this down. All right, and so that finishes up our cute little box. Don't you just love this box, you guys? I love it. So the finished box actually measures one and one sixteenth of an inch by, let's see, by four and a half inches tall. So one and one sixteenth of an inch by four and a half inches if you don't count this little piece right here. So just up to this point right here. So you could fit um, some decent sized little treats in there. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's tutorial and don't forget you can find all of the measurements for today's project as well as a full list of supplies over on my coordinating blog post. I've linked to that just below the video in the description notes and you can purchase whatever you need so that you can recreate this gorgeous little box. So thanks again for joining me today you guys and I will be back soon with another tutorial. Bye now.